Hey, it's cftracking.com with a review for Garmin's strength profile or strength training aspects for use in CrossFit training or high-intensity interval training. Really trying to get an idea of if the strength profile and the building plan that you can create would actually benefit um, you know, your workout schedule and your training regimen with CrossFit. I just got done with the Coros review, so that's up on the channel if you want to see it. So what we're going to look at today, we're going to look at where you go in the app to build it, how it looks in the app, how you go through the building process, then you'll upload it to the watch and that happens automatically. And then we'll see the what it looks like in the watch, what the results look like in the watch, and then what the results look like in the app. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I'm trying to build a subscriber base for video content and device reviews that are relevant to CrossFit training or high interval in, you know, high intensity interval training. So please consider subscribing. Got some more reviews coming up. The Chorus Verdicts is coming up uh, probably in the next week and then some other devices are on deck. So let's get into the details. Okay, so getting into the specifics, looking at the app first, we're gonna just go into where you would find this. So you go into the main landing page of the Garmin uh, Connect, you go into more, and this is where it is. I think you might be able to move this around, but you go into training. So the first thing is obviously to build your plan. So you go into workouts and you go into create a workout. I'm not going to go through a full elaborate creation. I'm just going to show you how it functionally works. The best thing I think, so you can go into a strength training workout. You can build the same type of workout, but you'll see a little bit of different stats. You get a couple of extra stats if you build it as a cardio workout. So I'm going to do that continue without saving. So we're going to create a workout. We're going to have it be cardio workout. And then you build your, you know, your incorporation of the plan and you can add a repeat, which is great. So one of the things that's functionally really useful about this is so you go in, you select your exercise first and there are a billion exercises. So one of the things I found in the course, it was really lacking a lot of basic CrossFit movement. So let's look at some of the basic ones. So just type in clean, always use the search function here. You have clean, clean and jerk. You got a squat clean and jerk. You got a barbell hang power clean. You got a dumbbell clean. There's not a dumbbell hang clean, but that's fine. Looking at the clean, you can look at snatch. You have barbell snatch, single arm hang snatch. So like dumbbell version, um, barbell, you have all these different versions for snatch. So overhead, you have the overhead squat, overhead lunge, you have overhead dumbbell lunge, you have overhead lunge with rotation, dumbbell split squat, overhead Bulgarian split squat. And you can even do something like look for single arm dumbbell and you can see all the different single arm functional movements single arm dumbbell swing dumbbell snatch dumbbell bench press single arm deadlift single arm kettlebell sw swing so you have a ton of different crossfit functional movements you can build into that now it doesn't affect anything in the workout because not all those things will they have a video for so i'll show it in the watch which ones have like a little video snapshot of the little person doing the thing. But um, so you, you you lay out your exercises, you pick your exercise, you pick the number, you know, put your weight in for what it's going to be. Your target type is reps or time. And you set your target for the number of reps. And then it comes in here. So I'm going to show you a completed version um, of one of the workouts. So I just sort of did this generically, home cardio. So this is a five five round with thrusters, single arm dumbbells, overhead squats, and overhead dumbbell lunge. Just set 10 reps on each and repeat five times, and the watch is gonna take you through that and just show you the next movement of each functional piece. So the other thing that I saw that was really useful is when you can use the repeat, you can basically have a major repeat with an internal repeat, and you can move these things around however you want. One of the things you'll see is when you save your workout after you've created it, you just hit this little upload, sorry, upload into that and it'll say basically the next time that you um, sync your watch, it will uh, sync it for you. So, you know, so you can add a step, add a step, add a step, add a repeat. One of the things that's also really useful is you can move the repeat here and if let's say you have a bunch of stuff floating down here and you're like oh wait that's actually in there oh wait that's actually in there and then you're like well i really have another repeat i'm going to actually put this repeat in the middle of the other repeat just like i showed you with the other workout so 
just a ton of flexibility with how you can design and develop the training plan. So once you have the training plan built, or sorry, the workout plan built, um, so I built some on the um, platform. So this was the workout from Saturday. So it's five rounds, run, sit up, clean and jerk. Um, and you can build it on a cardio or a strength. It's just your preference. I mean, you get a couple more stats on the cardio. So let's look at it on the watch. So you've uploaded it in there. So the next time you go, so once you sync, sync it in the app, the next time you go to the strength tab, it will have it uploaded. So you can see this is the Thursday workout, which was like two rounds with a three rounder in the middle of each round. Um, so you can see that some of these, like the lunge will have a picture. And you always hit this little button to see the picture if it has that icon there. Some of them don't, you know, lateral leap and hop over the dumbbell, 50 pound farmer's walk. Those didn't have any of those things. Oh, and the other thing I was gonna say is when you're building a workout, you have to have some sort of warm up and some sort of cool down. I just have a generic sleeper stretch or I just put some sort of stretch in there so that there's something in there because you know we're gonna do a bunch of different things. Um, same thing with the one on Saturday. Run, sit-ups, those in the clean and jerk doesn't have a picture. So sit-ups will have a little picture. And then, yes, it's amazing to have a running picture. But um, so you can see how that works. Now that's on the strength version. So on the cardio, it goes to your automatic um, data screen. So you hit up to get more options. And then you can go straight into not the settings, but the my workouts. And this is where it'll have the downloaded workout. So here... I just did that generic five round, four movement workout. So thrusters don't have a picture, single arm dumbbell, overhead squat, and then overhead, overhead lunge. So it's got a double dumbbell overhead lunge, but that doesn't really matter. So when you get into it, you just say, I'm gonna do the workout. You start the timer, it'll tell you, and then you hit the bottom button to change in between. So if you set a specific time, I'm not sure that it'll actually automatically force you into the next rep when the the timer, but it will do a countdown. You'll be able to feel it. So now it's telling you, you got to do your thrusters. You do your thrusters. Once you click that, you'll click this. If you wait a second, it'll start counting the time so that you, you know, you can see what the next movement is, but then it'll try to catch the reps. I don't find that to be very useful. It definitely, when you're breaking up your set, it definitely does not keep up. So if you do it continuously from the time you hit the button and you go through all your movements, the watch will register the reps often more correctly. If you're breaking up your set of thrusters with a six and a four with a 10 rep, then you, you know, it's, it's going to get thrown off because you, you know, sat on your knees for a little bit, but, um, you keep clicking through and it'll just take you to the next exercise. So you hit stop at the end. We don't want to save that, but that's what you functionally would see is the basic data screen. So you have that data screen timers, you can change and tweak any of these data screens as well you can you know upload different types of data screen this is just what's automatically built into the uh, strength profile or this is the cardio profile so anyway stopping and then what do you what do you get when you finish the workout so you finish the workout everything went great you're really happy and I'll just show you what one of them looked like so here, let's go with uh, the Friday one. So you click here, you can see the sets. So you can see the amount of time. So those like a warm up, eight minute warm up, and then you just go through each piece. So this was, I um, can't remember exactly, but you can see your times in each of the segments you on the watch on the phone will show you what it looks like there too but this is what the results look like you obviously have your training effect which will show you that it was a high aerobic slightly high anaerobic a super big load from that particular workout and then the training i mean the recovery time is always going to be built into the watch under your you know like training profile so like i had a longer workout today and my training status says you know, it's giving me all the specifics, but it wants me to take like three days off. So yeah, it was a little bit too hard. Um, so that's what you see in 
the functionality of using the workout on the watch as well as what you see as a result. It gives you the same results as you would for any workout. That's what's so great about it. You get the same training effect, same recovery time, same uh, you know load built into your training load. So what do you see when you go into the actual results on the app? Go into activities. We'll take a look at a couple of these. So this was the, I think, the five rounds with three rounds interlaid in the middle. Um, so here you had lunges. Okay, yeah, so this was, it was basically a 15 minute, every 15 minutes on the minute for two rounds where you run 800, 800 meters and then you do 100 feet of lunges, lateral leaps and hops, and that's three rounds. And then you go back into a farmer's walk to close out that first round, then you pause until the beginning of the next 15. So this is what you'll see. I couldn't figure out how to see it where you could see time, but see the time per each movement. But then you go into it and you get the basic, you get all the specific stats that you could want. So you can see it's a short list of stats on the strength workout. And if you were to use the uh, cardio workout, you would get a different set of stats, but it's just a little bit more elongated. So get the same training effect, respiration date, but now you get elevation and temperature. So added a couple different stats in there. So I would just build it under a cardio. It's gonna be the same heart rate metrics, gonna be the same heart rate zones, the same training effect impact. So that's the summation of it. Let's turn and just look, and I'll give you just a general summary of what I think. So what do we see about the strength training? I really feel like they've done an excellent job at really customizing and completing the overall profile and the development and the package to be useful for CrossFit training if you want to be able to follow the training plan on your watch and be able to know when the next thing's gonna happen and what you're gonna do. Is it fundamentally important? No, because the most important thing is you track the stats that the watch is going to gather anyway in order to see what the impact on your body was from that workout with the recovery time needed and to have that assessed and you know calculate into your training load but great all around outside of that um if you look at the pros you know basically you have all the specific movements you know you could seems like you could find almost any specific movement that you could need a con on the other side of that is that there does not always like a picture of a guy doing the movement for a single arm dumbbell snatch so some of that's not going to be there but we all know where to go to see videos of how to do the right movements but it got a ton of specific movements as we saw you can repeat actions and then you can even layer in the repeat so if you have a major repeat round that within it has a multiple repeat round you can do that layering with very good control. Um, you can build it in the cardio aspect. Pro, you know, you can build a workout within the cardio profile versus the strength profile, and you'll get a couple extra stats. Now, the strength profile will still give you respiration rate as your respiration peaks, your heart rate, your um, training effect, those things, but you'll get a little bit more steps, stats. Um, you'll get an elevation change as well as a temperature change. Um, so those things are built into the cardio functionality versus the strength only functionality. But the main important, the most important thing is you can build your workout relatively simply. It has all the movements and then fundamentally most important is the training effect. So you can see your training effect from an aerobic and anaerobic. You can see your, um, recovery time needed from that workout and it all credits into your training load. So it, it assesses how your development's going as far as overall fitness. You can't do a couple minor things. You can't very easily see the time in the, well, you can see it in the watch, but not very easily. You can't see the time per round. You can't see what the repeat, you can't, you can sometimes see the segments, but you can't, I couldn't figure out how to see the time per segment in the app. Um, and then something that Coros is doing that's kind of neat, it shows a heat map. They haven't fully evolved that. It's not quite functional in my opinion, but the heat map is an idea where you can see how much how you're affecting different body parts by the types of movements you're doing. So that'd be a great thing to evolve. But overall, it's great. It's functional. It's useful. If you want to give it a try, I give it a thumbs up. And thanks so much. CFTracking.com.